Well, I decided to sketch from my car and I found a parking lot across from this Ford's restaurant and I thought it looked really cool and nostalgic looking from the outside. So I just started with shapes. So you just try to visualize rectangles or squares and this is where there's another square for the door. And then the cars, just make sure that you leave room for the cars in front. Always remember that you're working from the foreground to the background. I wasn't able to fit the whole restaurant in this picture, but it doesn't matter. It's just a sketch and just as long as you're getting the idea. I think many times when we create art, we are very particular and it becomes stressful. And sometimes we don't know where to start and we don't know how much to put into the picture. But just start somewhere. Just draw a rectangle or draw a circle or draw a pole, a lamp post. Just start somewhere and then add in the other details in regard to the to the first shape that you have drawn. And you'll just keep drawing shapes in relation to the first shapes or the previous shape that you just drew. Drawing in a few more cars and the brickwork behind the cars and filling in the car windows with diagonal lines for shading and then I'll go over it with some gray paint. Now right here I wet the paper and I am just dabbing blue and letting it spread out and leaving white areas for the clouds and then you add in some grayish color you mix whatever's on your palette together, it makes a gray color, and you put those at the bottom of your clouds. Also, I'm just filling in uh, details of the colors of this restaurant and their edging and the lettering. And uh, putting in this edging color on dry paper, I don't want it to spread into the other areas, so I'm just laying it down dry with more pigment. So I'm filling in the car windows with a darker color and the pole and the details of the windows in the garage doors um, with, a, with a dark color. Just mix your colors together, bl a dark blue and a dark brown, and you'll come up with a dark gray color. The windows can also be shaded with the ink from your pen and I usually draw sideways lines across the window and fill it up and then put a little bit of a gray color over the windows. Here we're just finishing up, adding more details, more paint, just water down paint and then layering as it dries, put out another layer over it, on, but not really coloring it in, but just dabbing here and there, which gives it a little bit of a more realistic effect because nothing is truly solid with the light from the sun everything has shadows and everything is darker and lighter and it will look a little bit more realistic even though we're just sketching and not striving for realism but we are looking for a good impression of what the picture looks like so this is the final product here's an up close picture i have a little person in there and it was very fun it took me about an hour hour and a half to do this picture had a blank spot at the bottom so I filled it in with the Ford's Garage logo again and I thank everybody for watching. I love you all and I will see you in the next video.